and the kings of the earth have done what? Committed fornication with her. Read the next verse. And the merchants of the earth, how did they become rich? I was rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Stop there. This is the secret between behind the wealth of the hidden. That behind all those business ventures you see, there is a fraternity, their fornication with this goddess called Babylon. And that in exchange for their halotry with her, they received many things. Go to verse 9, please. Verse 9. We are reading from verse 9 to 13. Let's read together. One to read. And the kings of the earth who have committed what? Fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her for they shall see the smoke of her burning. Read up. We are reading to 13. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come. 11. Stop. Who are those who will cry? Not the inhabitants of the earth. The merchants of the earth. Shall weep and mourn over her. Why? For no man buyeth her merchandise. She say, her lot. We believe you have been greatly woman. blessed by this message. Let's Please show kindness felt. by liking, commenting, and sharing this message to your social media handles so that others can also benefit. And silver, God bless. And precious See you again. Read on. And pearls. And fine linen. And purple. And silk. And scarlet. And cyan wood. And all manner of vessels of ivory. Read on. And all manner vessels of most precious wood. And of brass. And of iron. And of marble thirteen, read on. And cinnamon, and odors, and ointment. She sells anointing. And wine, and oil, and flour, and wheat, read on. And beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves. What does she sell else? What a businesswoman. That will sell anything including the souls of men. Where did she get the souls? The ones who came to exchange their souls for money. What shall it profit a man if he gains? They lost their souls to her and gained the world. That's how she got those souls. Are we together now? So the economy of darkness is lose your soul while you prosper. If you are willing to subscribe to that technology, then here you go. You can rise without God and be blessed. You can be a millionaire and a billionaire and you can continue. So here's what the apostle says. Beloved, I wish above all things that ye prosper and be in good health. But even as your soul now, this is the trouble. The trouble is not wealth. The trouble is that as money grows, your soul is growing. And Satan says, no way. This bargain cannot work. Psalm 112 says, Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said, His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. He says, wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever. The real battle is the battle of time, is the battle of your soul. My brothers and my sisters, please listen. It's not the battle for your business. When Satan came to Jesus, remember at the temptation, when he came to Jesus, the first temptation was torn this stone to bread. Satisfy your inner desires. And Jesus said, no. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. Next temptation, 
was the temptation of his spiritual life. He takes him to a holy side and says, fall down, backslide, go down. After all, the angels will hold you. And then the next temptation is the temptation of wealth. He takes him to an exceeding high mountain and drops him there and shows him the glories of the world in a moment of time and says, all this has been given to me. All I want you to do is bow to me. Satan does not want your account. Satan does not want your business. Satan does not even want your child. What are you going to do with that? This is what he wants. Your allegiance. Because man is the zenith of God's creation. The fullness of the express image of the Christ. So when you bow to him, remember this is what was happening in hell too if you read. The Pauline epistle. He said that principalities and powers were upon him, forcing him to bow. But then when the legal claims of justice were satisfied, the Bible says he he shook them. He made a public show of them, triumphing over them. Satan has been obsessed with transgenerational allegiance. Please listen very carefully. It is your soul that Satan wants. It is not your money. I tell you why there is no money in your account. Because he knows that you have been programmed by a system that when there is no money in your account, it is impossible for you to keep quiet and sleep. Because the civilization that you live in is driven by economy. And sooner or later you will have needs that only money can pay for. And it will compel you to get up and do something with your time to get it back. One more scripture and I will begin to teach. Genesis 42. Thank you. Genesis chapter 42. We are reading the first two verses. Is God blessing us tonight? Genesis chapter 42. I want to show you the technology that causes believers to backslide. That technology that will always drive people away from God. Do we have it projected? Let's read together. Only two verses. One, two, read please. Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt. Stop. 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 There was corn in Egypt. Everybody say corn in Egypt. Egypt is a place that represents a government that is antichrist. And yet he said, because there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look upon one another? Read verse 2. Hmm. One, two, read, please. And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down, Tita, and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. Keep that scripture there, please. A prophet is about to die because although he's a prophet, he has no corn. And Satan put corn in Egypt so that Israel will go to Egypt. Hunger always takes Israel to Egypt. Please listen. Satan does not tell you to go to Egypt by drawing and forcing you. All he needs to do is to ensure only Egypt has corn. Eventually, you will find your way to Egypt. This is a prophet. 